It's better to be part of a church where unity is not automatic or where it's not merely circumstantial. Because in a diverse church, unity is an ongoing choice. And there are times when it's a difficult choice. And what's true for a church is also true for our country. We have to choose to stick together even though we will not always get what we want, even though we will be disturbed by some of what we hear other people or potential leaders saying, even when we know that our laws or events are not right. Our culture desperately needs us to carry these attitudes and behaviors and this humility that makes the church work. Our culture needs us to carry it into the world. We can't just leave it here. We have unity here because we actually restrain some of our opinions. We don't express every thought that we have. And we don't use anger and sarcasm to communicate with people. And our world beyond this church needs that kind of spirit and behavior and those kinds of words also. We have unity in this church because we know that God wants it, God expects it, and because we know that if we let go of unity, it would be one of the greatest possible tragedies. And our country needs us to step out of this place and to think the same way about our culture and our nation. Some of you know Rick Warren said, people ask me if I'm left wing or right wing, but I'm concerned about the whole bird. <laughs> and as God's people, we have to be concerned about the whole bird, not just the people who vote like we do and come to the conclusions that we do. And we have to participate in this free election process, which does include debate and tension. We have to find a way to participate in a way that doesn't violate the values that we know that God is counting on us to display and the example that he wants us to be to others. It's not just our political team that matters. It's the whole bird. So let's, as Paul put it, Make every effort. And when it feels like effort, let's keep making every effort to remain united.